king, I am not a god, I am a king. Oh shit, here we go again. What? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> What's good, YouTube, and welcome to Tano. I hope you enjoyed this speedrun. If you did, let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe. Now, in this video, I will show you how to mod your Incarnon Boar to roar at your enemies for level 9999 or known as level cap in warframe to slice them like butter let's go and now we start the build with the incarnate evolutions evolution one headshots will fill the incarnate meter and then you hit the button on the mouse wheel like you perform a heavy attack on your melee weapons to activate the incarnate form when the incarnate form is active your weapon will become from a shotgun to a beam gun Fire three short range beams that chain link enemies. Semi beam to be precise. Now, evolution two is like depends on the frame you're using and how much armor you have. Now, if you have more than 450 armor, I highly recommend you use the Fortress Salvo. If you don't, it's okay, you can use the Refined Bane. You're good to go. Evolution three, we're gonna be using the Ready Retaliation for the 100% reload speed, but you can use anything else that you, it doesn't change what this weapon is capable of. Now, evolution 4 uh, is critical, but we're gonna be using critical parallel. Really, really uh, powerful stuff in here. And now for the modding. Uh, primate Ravage for critical damage. Uh, primate Point Blank for damage. Now, this is additive damage to the weapon. And it can kill Corpus, Grenier, Thrax, you name it. Without a problem. But if you want to increase your damage against specific faction, I highly recommend you use a multiplicative faction mod like the Primate Clans Grenier, the Primate Clans Corpus, and so on. Critical Declaration, Critical Chance, and Minus Fire Rate. Galvanized Hair for multi shot and on kill 30% multi shot for 20 seconds, stacks up to 4 times. Toxic Barrage for the 60 60 Toxin and Statue Chance. Shell Shock for Electricity and Statue Chance. Galvanized Savvy for Statue Chance and on kill. 40% direct damage per statue affect the target. Vigilante elements for multi shot and enhancing your critical hits. Fatal acceleration for projectile speed. And primary deadhead on precision headshot kill. 120% damage for 24 seconds. I like it for cascade because 24 seconds more than enough time to move from an exolizer to another. And also increase the headshot multiplier that scales with you to the level cap without a problem. But. If let's say you're going against uh, a survival mission and so on, maybe you can use the primary Mercialize, you're good to uh, go, really like, uh, up to you, okay? Now, uh, the, mo the weapon is modded for corrosive and when the uncurrent form is active, you got heat in here. So you're good to go, corrosive and heat. And now that leads us uh, to the Warframe. Two Emerald Darkon Shards to run 14 stacks of corrosive instead of 10. So instead of 80% armor strip to 100% armor strip. So the bore itself armor stripping enemies without relying on anything else. But if you don't like this and you want to try different things, this is not your favorite way to armor strip. It's okay. I prepared for you a sheet with different style and stuff, even on how to proc viral. That leads us to the helmet ability, as I'm going to be using Nourish. Nourish will proc viral mainly and getting some energy here and there. And now for my Revenant Prime build, you can apply this on any Warframe you want. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the aura, shotgun amp, arcane rage, arcane tempo. If you want to use a different arcane, arcane tempo is what you want to replace. Simple as that. Vigorous swap. If you're going against Cascade or let's say you're going uh, Eidolon or whatever, all right? Or you're going to be swapping between weapons, works with all kind of enemies in the game. So it's going to give you 165% damage for 3 seconds when you swap between weapons. For Fox School, if you're going Cascade, I just want you to know I'm using 177. So I'm using a Raplak Prism from Cetus from the Quills and the Certus Brace and Propa Scaffold from Little Duck on Fortuna. You need to be rank 4. So just to clear that out. Otherwise, use any amp you want, like 4-5, uh, 
or uh, one four five or one three two uh, one two three up to you which one you really want it doesn't matter in the end you will get one seven seven or you're gonna get seven 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 totally up to you and then madurai for the void strike deplete energy getting 1000% damage, activating Eternal Onslaught Arcane for 180% critical chance, and Eternal Eradicate for 60% damage. And when the Void Strike is on cooldown to kill the second form of the Thrax, Contamination Wave will come on play, making enemies vulnerable to 50% of Void damage. And also, if you play it right, you can activate the Onslaught and the Eradicate same time. If not, Naramon to sustain your combo, and you can perform Finisher with Sling, Zoneric for... Uh, Energy, Vazarin uh, to dash to yourself and make yourself uh, invulnerable for any type of uh, damage. Unira to armor strip and also Vazarin you can pull enemies in. Speaking of pull, we're going to be using Nautilus to pull enemies with Cordon and Manifold to pull more enemies. Tenacious Bone for critical damage. I mean, depends on what you want to play. I mean, you can use uh, anything. Once of Papyla for Viral, you can use uh, Negate from Worm to remove the statue effects and so on. Now, this is the Volklok uh, build uh, for the weapon for the Sentient. Vigilante set, enhancement of the critical hits from primary uh, weapons, and so on. Uh, all right. Now, it is time for some testing. We're going to do Thrax and the Corrupted. Let's go. All right. Uh, activating Nourish, and let's go, Mr. Thrax Centurion. Boom. Overguard is gone. Let's go. Now, remember, Nourish, which is viral, doesn't affect the Overguard, only Magnetic and the Fortifier as a secondary. But worry not, you'll be taking them down without any uh, problem at all from here until level cap. Activating the Incarnate Forma, and check this out, my friend. This weapon doesn't joke at all. This weapon is really powerful, and I would say broken, as you don't need a Riven, and you don't even need a Multiplicative Faction mod at all. And to be honest, Thrax doesn't fall on any category of, uh, like, um, faction. Alright, activating the Void Strike. Boom, 5 million, 32 million, and 32 million again, 32 million again. And you're gonna be playing against these enemies uh, and slicing them like butter. Now, let's summon some uh, heavy corrupted gunners. There you go. And don't be frightened about this loadout and things. Trust me, there is no big synergy included in here just the weapon build to emerald dark on shards nourish as a helmet ability and that's it there is no crazy stuff uh, in here all right let's go activating nourish reloading the weapon let's go headshot boom <laughs> let's go look at that activating the incarnate form i mean there is no way they survive this like really there is no way they survive it i mean look at the amount of buffs we got up there i mean look at the amount of buffs man Look at the red crits. Look at the power. And the incarnate form, it's really, really powerful. Guys, there is nothing to prove in here. The weapon already killed level cap. Tried it against Corpus, tried it against Grunir. And Thrax level cap. Easy as that. And by this, we reach the end of the video. I want to say thank you so much, guys, for watching. Big love to you all for your amazing support. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this weapon. Like. Let's hope we reach 100 likes. And join our Discord. Link in the description. See you guys next time. And let me know in the comments what next weapon you want to see. I am not a king, I am not a god, I am Hunk Day!